The first ever VCon is less than two weeks away. The Yuga Labs drop destroys DGen confidence, and IRL recession fears drive a run to the blue chips. I'm Busy NFT, and you're watching All Things Web3. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Also, I'm not sponsored or compensated by any person or project that I may mention in this video. However, I am invested in VFriends projects. So, let's go ahead and pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. VCon is less than two weeks away and promises to be the Web3 event of 2022. Gary V airdropped his 10,255 v friend series one holders the only tickets to get into this event which now boasts more than 160 speakers from pop culture music art and technology snoop pharrell beeple steve aoki tom bilyeu and more will be presenting with concerts and after parties all over downtown minneapolis each night with secondary market tickets going for less than 700 dollars us you can't afford to miss this event the big news this week was the ridiculously profitable, although disastrous drop that was the other deed meant. Yuga Labs, which owns three of the most valuable NFT projects in Bored Ape, CryptoPunks, and MeBits, launched Other Deed for Other Side this Saturday, and it sold out almost immediately, which netted the company almost $300 million. Wow, Miss Keen, that's a lot of money for someone like you. Now, what's unfortunate about this mint is that the demand for the project is so high that gas fees spike to record levels, with one user paying nearly $43,000 in gas fees. Now, gas is a feature of Ethereum, not a bug, and it's designed to compensate miners for confirming transactions to the blockchain and also inhibit bad actors from spamming transactions. Even so, for the other deep mint, nearly $150 million worth of Ethereum was burned in gas, with many users having their transactions fail in the process. Damn! Now this could be bad enough, and Yuga has offered to actually refund the gas fees for the failed transactions. But immediately following the bad showing, Yuga announced the idea of migrating its projects to a new blockchain and away from Ethereum. The idea for a Board Ape blockchain could have been in the works for some time now, following the creation of the ApeCoin, which went over pretty well, but the timing of the announcement has been questioned by some loyal fans. Twitter user Mark Balin called Yuga, quote, con artist of the highest order. Meta Paul questioned if this was the evil plan all along. Others also questioned if this was planned to create a false need for a new blockchain that Yuga could control. I don't have an ape, and I'm not invested in, in any Yuga Labs projects. I can't say I'm completely objective, but as an outside observer, I have to wonder if Yuga could have done this mint differently. Gary V just did a 50k plus drop a few weeks ago with V for in Series 2, and many of his mentors paid less than $50 in gas. To be fair, I don't think the demand for VF2 and the demand for other side are even remotely the same. What's unusual is the immediate call by Yuga for a new chain, when they could have mitigated the gas problem themselves and put out some positive PR, rather than having to backtrack now and show the rough side of Web3 with the whole world watching. The fact is, Yuga projects are in the limelight, and what they do affects all of us in the Web3 space. I'm hopeful that they're more concerned with building a larger, more inclusive community than they are with running the Web3 world on their terms. I hope so. Okay. Okay. Hey, I make YouTube videos. If they're helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Finally, it's quite possible that the changing IRL economics are impacting the NFT space, with people speculating less and sticking to the blue chips. Over the past week, only seven projects have seen more than 1,000 sales, with Axie Infinity and Other Side accounting for 93% of the total sales volume of the group. There's only 28 projects doing a million dollars or more in weekly sales currently. 
Yuga Labs projects account for $1.2 billion in sales this past week, billion with a B, with most of those coming from the other side mint. Still, with the Fed raising interest rates and the stock market taking a dive, it just makes sense to move money into proven winners. This doesn't mean that these projects will make you money. It just means that even DGENs aren't always YOLO 100% of the time. We've come a long way from the 180,000 sales a day trend we saw just six months ago, which tells us that this space is still extremely volatile. As always, before you ape into any NFT, do your own research and realize this is a high risk environment. One thing is for sure, Web3 is the future, book games is forever. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. But we don't talk anymore.